from redesign tanned naira notes to cash withdrawal policy now these are the facts in 2011 2012 um godwin emefiele the governor of the central bank of nigeria has been pushing the cashless policy godwin emefiele further even stated again that these policies aren't targeted at anyone i always find it interesting but then the other side of that conversation is how does the average market woman who actually deals with huge bundles of cash how would she essentially manage, how would he or she rather essentially manage their business according to this new policies being set out by the CBN? Nigeria reacts as CBN limits cash withdrawal. The Central Bank of Nigeria has announced a new policy that mandates banks and other financial institutions to ensure that over-the-counter cash withdrawals by individuals and corporate entities do not exceed 100,000 Naira and 500,000 Naira, respectively, per week. The revised cash withdrawal limit contained in a circular issued on January 9, 2023 stated that the maximum cash withdrawal via automated telemachine shall be restricted to 100,000 Naira subject to a maximum of 20,000 Naira cash withdrawal per day and further restricted point of sale POS withdrawal to 20,000 Naira daily. It further stated that only denomination of 200 Naira and below shall be loaded in an automated telemachine ATM. The new policy is coming barely weeks after President Mohamed Buhari launched the newly redesigned 200, 500 and 1000 Naira banknotes. All right, from redesign tanned naira notes to cash withdrawal policy now all right so we're going to state the facts now these are the facts in 2011 2012 um godwin emefiele the governor of the central bank of nigeria has been pushing the cashless policy you know in his opinion you know nigeria needs to join other developed nations and other developing economies you know in becoming a cashless policy nation now in his in his logic, right, which is one that I don't actually really fault, um, he believes that this would increase the, the this would increase the big economic capacity of Nigeria as a whole. Now, a lot of Nigerians have reacted to this policy, saying that it doesn't benefit the average Nigerian. To the point that the House of Representatives, the legislative arm of government, have called Godwin Emefiele to appear this following week to explain and further essentially defend the policy that the CBN has put out. Apparently, you know, a minority leader, only a minority leader in the House of Reps actually um, agrees with the policy, stating that it will further mitigate and curb corruption and banditry in our society in Nigeria. Godwin Emefiele further even stated again that these policies aren't targeted at anyone. I always find it interesting. You know, the first time we took the story about the Naira redesign and he stated that it isn't targeted, targeted at anyone. And now he's restating again that these policies aren't targeted at, targeted at anyone. Why the repetition? A lot of people, you know, some youth have come out, northern youth in particular, according to research and reports, have come out to say that the House of Reps calling Godwin Emefiele to appear to defend this new policy is because they are protecting certain godfathers in the Nigerian political system. Elections are coming up very soon, and as we know, some of the things that some of the things that implement um, rigging and corruption in elections is when Ghana must go, huge bags of money are given to bandits, or huge Ghana must go are distributed in societies, you know, in particular communities, you know, to rig these elections. President Mohamed Buhari has consistently stated that he wants a free and fair election. This week, reports came out from the military that they are going to obey the president's order to the latter. So why? This might be one of the reasons why the CBN governor keeps staying, keeps stating that these policies aren't targeted at anyone. But then the other side of that conversation is how does the average market woman who actually deals with huge bundles of cash 
how would she essentially manage, how would he or she rather, essentially manage their business according to this new policies being set out by the CBN? What are your comments on this? What are your thoughts on this story? Let us hear in the comments below.